Last time on Salty Crafter, when I tried a klutz kit, I had an identity crisis. I went in there with the saltiest of intentions, but what ended up happening is that this kit absolutely surprised me. I did not expect to give that kit a 9 on 10 dorks. I'm really curious to see whether or not this kit will actually get a positive review or salty review. For those of you new to the salty crafter idea, we are pretty salty here, so make sure you bring a glass of water or a piece of chocolate in case you need, you know, to change the flavor in your mouth. And for those of you saying, Jackie, your reviews are always negative. I don't know if I want to watch you anymore. Well, you're salty too, so welcome to the family. <laughs> I know that within the fabric of my soul, I am not a fan of sewing. So if this kit can introduce me to sewing in a different way, which would make me either hate it more or like it, we gotta give it a try. So let's check out what's in this kit, but before doing so, if you want a shout out in my Friday video, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter or uh, Facebook with any of your creations anytime. To start off, this kit cost me 25 Canadian dollars, but when I checked on the American Amazon, it is actually $18. Alright, let's open it up and see what we get. They usually give you a full book of instructions. We're gonna take a look at that in not too long, as soon as I figure out you won't get me this time. There we go. So here's what we get in this kit. We get a 48 page fully illustrated instructional booklet, some gorgeously vibrant felt. We have half sheets of felt and then a kind of three quarter sheet and then some smaller sheets. So I don't know why they come in different sizes, but I guess we'll find out later. Some string or as they call it, floss. This is cotton. Some stuffing that they have air dry packed or air packed dried something like that. Pre-cut cheeks and eyes, which I think is pretty cute, but you know, we could do it ourselves, but why not? We also get needles in there, which we'll take a look at later. And we also get the cutouts. Now, I don't know why I got two of them. In the back of the actual box, it says that we get three pages. Now, I looked inside and there are three pages, but I got it twice, which kind of worries me whether or not another box didn't get its pattern. All right, so for this project, I decided to do a pizza because they're so cute. I'm really curious. If you guys were to order pizza, what are your favorite toppings? Let me know in the comment section below. So before I can do the pizza, I actually have to follow a tutorial of how to thread the needle and all that stuff. So let's, let's do that together. Okay, you know what? I'm actually pretty intimidated because the pizza itself is only one page, whereas the full tutorial which we get to learn how to use this kit is about the donut. And it says once you do the donut, then you're okay to do the other things. Let's do a donut, then after we do the donut, let's make a pizza. As I was starting to cut out the patterns, I started feeling pretty confident. I'm like, I got this. This is going to be really fun, really cool, even though I hate sewing. But, you know, I was pretty optimistic until the point where I got to the um, threading. If you want to pause and take a look at the instructions, I challenge you to give it a try. However, I want to make sure that if I'm challenging you, you aren't already familiar with that technique and had to practice it. So it has to be something as a complete beginner like me. I'm stumped and confused because in order to tie a knot, it's telling me to hold something on my right hand, hold it on my left hand, and then twirl it around and then pull it. I, I just don't see it. I'm sitting here for the last 15 minutes trying to figure it out, not beginner friendly at all. So I'm, I'm pretty salty right now. I'm so salty that my skin is crawling. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and try and figure out how to do this knot. After watching that YouTube video, I'm like, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna do my own knot. <laughs> so I went ahead and did my own knot in the way that I learned as a kid. Now, I don't know what happened, but when I was putting the eye in, 
For some reason, it was like, I don't want to stick around. I want to not happen. Bruh. After a couple of tries, I was able to get the eye in. All I had to do was make sure that my threading was just spaced out a little further than I expected. Let's talk about the back stitching. I was a little worried that I would mess it up, but I actually understood it. So I was like, oh, cool, I learned a new way to stitch. So I went crazy, gave it a frown, and of course, eyebrows, because why not? All the other stitches in this book were actually really easy to understand. It really was just the knot and closing up the, you know, the seams at the end. But other than that, it was actually pretty easy and time consuming, but it wasn't hard to learn. Another bit of bother is actually the way that they tell us to secure the extra string on the other side because it just kept falling out. So I think for someone who has some good dexterity, at least I like to think so about myself, it was it was pretty much a pain in the bum to try and keep it in my other finger constantly being held. Hermit Gird. This is so tiny. It's really cute. Of course, there are defects because this is my first ever felt creation. Just to let you know, this little thing with all its defects and simplicity took me two hours. I am recording so it does kind of take a little more time to put my arm around the camera. I didn't even put the sprinkles. That's, that's another thing. I don't know if I have it in me to do a pizza, but yeah, my brain is, is so shot right now. I'm like... One thing I have to admit is that after making the donut, I definitely felt way more comfortable putting a pizza together. So I think their method of starting with a donut is definitely not just a suggestion, but mandatory. You gotta do it. All right, time for the nitty gritty. Is this kit worth it? Let's start with the cons as usual, and then I'll list some of the pros. And at the end, you can make a decision based on outweighing both of them. On the box, it says that it makes 18 different creations. However, the pre-cut pieces for the eyes and the cheeks only give us enough to make 15. The only excuse I'll give for that is probably because they expect us to make cute eyes too, so I'll let that pass. But I'm watching you. Oh my gosh! That knot. I don't know why they insist on using that kind of method for the knot and I checked a video on YouTube and it was just even even watching someone do it I was like no no I'm not I'm not doing that. So I just did a basic knot that I learned as a kid because I don't have patience to wait or try. Now even though they do encourage you to follow a sequence in order to be able to make the other stuff, even the sequence was missing instructions. So when it comes to making the donut, they told us what we needed, but they didn't give us the complete list. So even though technically the first actual floss, well, string that we have to use is black, it actually wasn't mentioned at all in the ingredients list. So what's up with that? For some reason, when I did the eye the first time, it just totally came off. It feels like the felt might be a thinner quality so that when you go through it with the actual thread and needle it actually created a hole so it was like how can I attach I'm just a hole right in the eyes I had to re-sew that part back on this kit is recommended for 10 years and up the techniques I, I, I know what they're trying to do some of the techniques might be a little too advanced I, I'm, I'm, I'm so salty when it comes to that knot. I, I just, all the other things were fine. Some of the instructions were not that clear. I'm gonna get to that in not too long, but it feels like the techniques were getting a little bit ahead of themselves. And so because the techniques are advanced, or at least to the beginner, the needle security way, so they just to kind of like put the cord on the other side, felt very clumsy. Every time I tried that technique, it just kept coming off. So I just made my own thing by attaching it at the bottom. In the previous Klutz kit, I was boasting that the booklet was amazing. It was a whole new level of, whoa, 
But when it comes to this part here, it just felt extremely incomplete. Even though it seems like they gave us quite a bit of stuffing, it depends how, I guess, dense you like your little toys. I have a feeling that the first material to be finished would be the stuffing. They do tell you if you do finish it first, you can go ahead and use other clippings of felt or cotton from home. Next, on top of all the other issues with the instructions, it really expects you to do the projects in order, if that makes sense. I mean, if there are 18 projects, I don't necessarily want to do 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 before I get to, you know, number 17. If I want to make a pizza, I want to make a pizza. But in order to make a pizza, I not only had to look at the watermelon, but I also had to look at how to make a toast. But they don't always tell you look at this one and then look at that one. You kind of have to flip through the pages and figure out how to do it. So now for the pros, don't get me wrong, this kit has a few pros. Like I said, you're, you're gonna make you're gonna make your mind based on that. I have to admit that what got me into buying this kit was the fact that the projects were super cute. So you have cute pizzas, cute donuts, and just cute because why not? Although the knot was just the biggest pain in the bum, the stitches themselves, I learned a few new stitches, were quite easy to grasp. Other than the stuffing, it seems like the material will actually stretch for quite some time. So I'm pretty pleased with that. One of the most important pros for this kit is playability. It, it took me an hour and a half to make that little pizza. There are 18 creations in this kit. If you want to do the math, that's over 24 hours of playability time. So for about $18 US or $25 Canadian, 24 hours of actual playtime is incredible value. Unlike some of the kits where it really was literally five minutes of activity and you paid the same price. Now, did this kit make me change my mind when it comes to sewing? The answer is no, absolutely not. But I do have to admit that it did give me a bit of confidence in terms of sewing, so I didn't dislike it, nor did I love it. Before I give my score, I do want to let you know that for someone who hates sewing, this kit didn't make me hate my life. So that's always a bonus and we get some salty looking foods. Overall, I would give this kit a seven and a half, maybe seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters dorks on 10. Don't get me wrong, the playability and value of this kit are really great. They will keep you busy for a long, long time. If you want to get this kit, of course, it is entirely up to you. Now you know both pros and cons. If you have other craft kits that you want me to salty review, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you want to see more salty reviews, check the video up here. And if you want to see a craft video, check it down here. I am publishing both, but some people just seem to not see them because they're like, you're only posting salty videos, Jackie. Where are the craft videos? Well, maybe if you didn't skip them, you would see them. But then again, you're salty, so 